Hello everyone and welcome to the Radical Academy and in this video we are going to be answering this question from a section A of 20.3 principles of account paper 2. So if you're watching for the first time remember to support, like and subscribe depending on where you're watching which platform are you using if you are using YouTube remember to subscribe if you are using uh, TikTok remember to follow if you're using Facebook like the page and also uh, follow the page so this is about trial balance so we have to know what is a trial balance and what what, what does it involve okay you, you don't just have to start solving uh, you know uh, balancing it you have to understand what does the trial balance consist of okay so now the question says that So we have now the question, uh, the following trial balance was prepared by an inexperienced bookkeeper for Chilequa and failed to balance it. So we have these um, items that we have, uh, the debit side and also the credit side. Now for your own information, when you are looking at the trial balance, the trial balance is not an account. It is just uh, the way of verifying if we did our double entry correctly, okay? Not just, uh, you know, uh, doing enter things because we might under, obviously, undercast or overcast a particular item or rather the cost. So we have to understand, we have to be checking now. Uh, we have capital, uh, sales, purchases, drawings, a loan from Zanaco. Uh, creditors, cash in hands, um, a cash in bank, we also have uh, stock, landed buildings, uh, bad debts, carriage inwards, uh, carriage outwards, and purchases in terms. So we have to really understand what is the meaning of each of these items that we have been given so that it um, doesn't you know, become very difficult for us to balance this uh, trial balance. So the required question says, redraft the trial balance correctly for Chilequa as at 31 uh, December 2022. So this is the most important thing that we must be able to understand. Okay. So now when you look at when you look at capital, okay. So uh, this capital, okay, should be able to go to the uh, credit side okay so now we should be able to explain uh, why capital goes to the credit side of the trial balance or rather in general okay so capital is something that does not belong to us based on how we define it okay but it's something that we need to have or sort of like uh, you know resources that can help us to start something okay this could be in form of uh, money could be in form of assets so in the actual in the accounting concept capital should go to the credit side uh given the fact that uh you know most of the uh, businesses that we start or we do are not uh started based on the you know we don't own those resources that we start with in our business so most of those resources they are owned or rather we borrow from uh, you know different uh sources okay we can actually go get a loan we can also get you know uh, a loan from a family or even a friend or from any financial um, you know lending institution okay so uh it should actually go to the credit side of this and then we also have sales okay so sales uh it should be able to go to the uh credit side okay because we are giving out okay we are selling up we are selling up okay so uh, the sales was correctly you know uh, entered in the trial balance okay so there is no nothing to worry about that and then we also have uh, the, the purchases okay so what does this mean purchases okay so we have what is called the purchases account and whatever we purchase we put there okay so when you purchase a house okay this means that you own that house okay and the purchases account says let's say house account it belongs to you okay 
or rather the stocks that we purchase, they are going to come into what is called a purchases account. And we expect that those items to be on the debit side because we are receiving whatever we purchase. Okay. So this um, it's actually correctly uh, entered into the trial balance. And then we also have drawings. Okay. So drawings is like um, you have some cash, you have some money, and now what you want to do is you want to withdraw money from what you have. So this is more like uh, you are not borrowing, uh, that money still belongs to you. It is just the descriptive term to say we have withdrawn, okay? We already have the money, but the, 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 the drawings account is for the private purpose, okay? But even if it is for the private purpose, it doesn't mean that we are giving out that money. It is still being used for the purpose of whatever it is being used. But the fact that the fact is this money still is in our hands okay so the drawing account the drawing should be okay it should go to the debit side which means that this money is in our accounts it belongs to us okay whatever account that we have and then we also have a loan from zanaco okay so anything that we know that it's a loan uh, you have to pay back, it's pay for maybe one year or even two years based on the agreement. So the loan from Zanaco is going to be on the credit side because it doesn't belong to us. And we are still uh, financing that loan through the profits that we're making from the business. And this means that um, uh, this loan has helped us to uh, finance or rather to jumpstart our business. But when we start making profit, this uh, loan must be serviced. Okay. Uh, maybe you can say at 10% percent will go to the financing of our loan. That means paying back of that loan. So this money is actually correctly written. Okay. And then what else we have creditors. Okay. So creditors. These are uh, these are people uh, to will to whom. Okay. Uh, to whom we borrow money from. Okay. So. Let's say, for example, the creditor could be someone who has credited you a money, but uh, it could be short term or long term. So one of the examples we have just seen is the loan from any bank, from any institution that gives out loans. Okay, so uh, creditors, so these are uh, financiers or people that lend money to other businesses. Okay, so we have, we are more like, uh, this is another way of saying that we could get a loan through some of the uh, creditors. This could be banks, financial institutions. So creditors, uh, this money should go to the credit side because this money doesn't belong to account. Therefore, we must pay back based on our agreed uh, our terms and conditions. And then we also have a cash in hand. So you have the cash, okay? So uh, you have the power to go and purchase whatever that you want, okay? So meaning the cash in hand is in your account already, okay? Just that it is in cash form. So uh, this money could be spent on things, okay? So meaning I have the money, so it belongs to me. So this is going to be on the debit side. Uh, but let's check it out. So it was put on the credit side. So we must... Uh, bring it back to the debit side of the trial balance and then we also have a cash at a bank so you have the money at bank let's say for example uh, this money is coming from the business and probably you are saying okay 10 percent of whatever profits uh, profits that we make or profit must be taken to the bank for the purpose of our saving the money okay so meaning uh, this money at, at the bank okay doesn't belong to the bank but it belongs to your account whatever you know the company name that you own okay this means that that money at the bank belongs to that company of yours so this is going to be on the debit side so it's a uh, 22,000 so so it, it's actually already on the debit side that is fine there's nothing to change there and then also have a stock uh, so stock these are just goods okay uh, this could be in form of assets or either fixed assets or even uh, current assets. So uh, stock, these are goods in your shop, in your business, 
and that you're selling out. Okay, so once you sell them, you get some, um, you exchange, uh, you get some cash uh, from the customers, and then you give them the actual thing. So stock is should be on the debit side because this is what we are doing to make money. Okay. Uh, land and buildings. So this is another asset, and this is a fixed asset. So all assets are going to be on the debit side. So a land and building, it's fine. Okay. And then bad debts. Okay. Now this is where people miss it. So what is a bad debt? Okay. So debts. These are you know we can say this is money. Okay. That must be paid off by customers that comes to buy from our, our business or from our, whatever transaction we do uh, with those people now there are at some point along the line within the business that we can't uh we know these customers becomes our trusted customers at some point we can give them uh you know goods on, on credit 